Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, my thing might be acting a little weird, like slowish. Uh, now I know I did two videos yesterday, and then I want to do one more because I don't know how busy I'm gonna get this weekend. After all, it is almost Fourth of July. Anyway, uh, as I can see, it's like weird. But anyway, I wanted to talk about. Uh, I did get a chance to talk to my friend, the one I said was coming to town, and I was able to kind of confirm some stuff, but I'm not 100% sure, and my, I look weird, like it's going slow, okay, um, anyway, um, I found this thing on Facebook, and it was like, they had a, like a, where you can look at the whole thing and make it bigger, which I was able to do, so I want to read off. Now, there's this something here I, I think I told you about before, but, um, I want to make sure I don't even for sure that I confirm since that now that I talked to her. The doctor's over 900 years old. Now, that was what I was talking about probably before. Uh, in, I don't know, probably Saturday's thing. Uh, I'm just going to go down to uh, the second part. Traditionally, time lords are, were limited to 12 regenerations. So, let's see. If the first one is the actual first one, and not like John Hurt thing, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, maybe I should just go through the people instead. First regenerating, second, which is Patrick Trostum. Then, which is one. I'm just gonna count them off. Uh, then he regenerated into third, which is Don Pertwee. Then Tom ba Then then came Tom Baker. Then Peter Davison, which we just saw last month, and then Tom Baker, which is this month's revisited. So I have yet to watch that one. I really want to because I want to start get get closer to eight because that's when it seems like it gets really romantic. I think that's what started the romance for doctors. So that's five already. Two, three, four, five, six. Then Sylvester McCoy, which is seven. Then Paul M McK. McGann, which is eight. Then Christopher Elks Elkson, which is nine. That's eight so far. Then David Ten, which is ten. Then Matt Sm Smith, which is eleven. That's ten regenerations. So either way, he has at least. Well, he didn't regenerate before. He, I mean, he sort of regenerated before. I don't know exactly when he died and then River gave back his lives, which is what I'm going to get into, but, so that means he's got either two or one more. I really don't know, 100%. But if this guy, John Hurt, is actually a doctor and not a bad guy, then that means he has only one generation left, regeneration left after that. So, let's just see what happens. Or, but the 11th doctor recently stated that he could regenerate over 500 times. Now, that could be because of what River Song did. Now, unfortunately, I still haven't learned how to put videos onto when I'm doing webcam. I will learn eventually. Uh, maybe I can see if I can have someone when I go back to school help me. Um, but uh, hopefully that'll help. Because, I mean, like, River Song did give her up the rest of her regenerations. She only used one when she was, uh, Melody something, and then became, originally Melody Pond. Actually, she used two regenerations, when she was a child, and then she turned into a different colored skin child. N don't, I'm not hating or anything, or being racist or anything, trust me, I'm not. And then when she became, um, and then when she became what we know now today as River Song, after she got shot by somebody. And if you guys hear that weird sound, it's just my window open, and it's really windy out today. Anyway, I also wanted to read about uh, certain facts on these. Now, they, they, I like this person, whoever found this, because uh, I like these little facts. The first doctor uh, was only for three years, but um, the main point that they put is that his first companion was Susan Foreman, his granddaughter. So that means he was married, had, a ch had children, or a child. And they had, ch I mean, that one got married and had children. So that means he, he's been divorced, I mean, a widower, must be, 
I don't know if after this whole time war, or even back then, how old his wife was. So he was either a widower or going to be. And then he married River. And then she technically died, and so he became a second widower. I'm surprised he hasn't gone black again, with black outfits again, like Chris Christopher Alexson. I don't know. But of course, David Tennant never knew that River Song was going to be his wife. Now, the second one is not, or uh, Doctor's a Time Lord, the, uh, is just saying where he's from, um, which is Gallifrey, in the Galactic Center. Uh, they say about the second Doctor that he used to play the flute, which is actually, I played the, well, he probably played a different kind of flute, but that's actually what I played, what used to play when I was a kid. Um, and it helped him think. Well, uh, it kind of makes sense. The third doctor, I mean, and the second doctor was only on for three years, which was 66 to 69, while the first doctor was from 63 to 66. Second doctor, or third doctor was from 70 to 74, so he actually had four years, prob I think. Uh, and he was, and they mentioned him about that he was forced to regenerate into a third doctor, which is kind of sad. I mean, I forget, uh, let's see, what did he do? I don't know what they did, uh, officially. Uh, there's something about him being Earth's protector, which of course is obvious. Ooh, the two hearts. Um, like all Time Lords, Doctor has two hearts in a binary vascular system. He has, he can go without oxygen for extended periods, has superhuman stamina, and can withstand certain types of radiation. Which explains when he met, first met Martha. When he he like re moved it all to his shoe. <laughs> it was funny because I never when I saw that clip before I even saw the episode I was like wait what? <laughs> uh, fourth Doctor uh, he usually liked jelly babies of course which they actually mentioned when they brought back um for when the slime thingy that they also used on Amy and Melody Pond like to fool them um the Doctor clone thingy uh set I mean couldn't like had all his memories so he couldn't withstand everything and said would you like a jelly baby in the actual voice so I wonder how they did I wish I knew how they did that but it probably wasn't that hard uh fifth doctor was from 81 to 84 which is another I mean one that was three years oh and I think the doc oh the fourth doctor was from 74 1974 to 1981 so that was like I'm not gonna count how many honestly because it's like not worth it um I haven't seen any all while I'm at it I'm not other than yesterday's video, well, the first of yet of the two on yesterday's video, I did not see anything else since uh, the 104 days till Pokemon X and Y thing. So, um, and I'm not gonna look up Ever After constantly because I can't, since I can't get it on this thing, the main website as well as, um, it's just I'm tired of looking at the same stuff when I'm on YouTube. Um, the fifth doctor off to more stuck of earth celery to his jacket. Of course, everyone knows that. And he was the first to wear reading, I mean, to wear reading glasses. Now that's pretty cool. Um, the doctor worked with unit, sometimes for good reasons, sometimes he just got stuck doing it. Come on. Uh, then they have a big thing about the TARDIS. Uh, Sixth Doctor was from 84 to 86, which is only two years, or three years, I don't know, two, three, whatever. Uh, they said he was punched out by the Time Lords, the prosecutor was the Valyard, who may be the future ver evil version of the Doctor. Okay, now that I want, now that's this Doctor that we're going to see for this, um, that they played yesterday for, um, Doctor Who Revisit, which is going to be good, I'm going to try to watch within no matter what today, I'm hoping I can convince him, my dad too, because I don't watch him without him, sort of, don't get into it, trust me, so, but the sad thing is my mom's also home today, and she's not as big a protector who fan, she'll like watch if, the, if, if like she, we're w almost done, and uh, we're going to be starting to eat dinner, so it's like, if she's, we're waiting to watch the next thing, and she'll watch it, like she did with the name of the doctor, 
so that was nice. And then sometimes she'll just go upstairs or something, but she's not a Doctor Who fan. And speaking of Doctor Who, I got an Amy Pond figurine for you guys. So yay for me. I'm really happy. Uh, I was really lucky. And depending on what happens in the near future, I'm probably never going to give it up. So, unless it's worth like a million bucks. Anyway, I'm already at 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, now the seventh Doctor they said was from 87 to 89, which is probably when he was on his series. And then I finally figured out why he was different. The 96, which is on that poster thing that I said, 1996, so I was already three years old um, by that time. So the, everything from the, seri the series part of the seventh Doctor and up, I was never born. I, from, so from after that, then I I can figure out. So when he appeared in the movie in '96, um, I was already three years old. If, if yeah, 1996. So that was the movie for the seventh and eighth Doctor, sort of. Okay, we stop moving. Um, he said he clashed with the Ronnie and Evie. Uh, an evil female time lord. So what, is she like a, kind of like the master? I don't know. Speaking of which, I found out, I mean, I lo know a little bit more about him. But anyway, I'm not going to get too much into it. Uh, until I find out new, once I find out new news about stuff, I will talk about it. So even if it's like, consistently, like I was doing before, guys, it's just, I'm trying to let inform people. Um, and there's something about his name that he uses off, often the alias John Smith. I kind of feel bad for the Disney thing. Because, um, he, ooh, he was wanted on Gallifrey, uh, because I think he, oh, that's because when he borrowed the TARDIS, or, well, borrowed. Um, yeah. The Eighth Doctor claimed to be half human, which it was 1996, claimed to be half human a a on his mother's side. In fact, it, that is still in dispute. Okay, then. The Ninth Doctor, uh, it was just saying about the last episode that he sacrificed himself. Um, ten Doctors from 2005 to 2010, so that's five years, I think which is David Tennant, and it says, now, I probably talked about it before, but he has a da cloned daughter. Like, it's a clone of his DNA, but, so she technically is his daughter. She, she has two hearts, and she can regenerate, but she doesn't change her form. At least, that's as far as I'm concerned. Because if you guys saw that episode, which is the Doctor's Daughter, which I actually watched and saved, don't ask. Um, then, who knows, we might meet her with the 12th Doctor, or 13th, whatever happens. Um, the Doctor's now last Time Lord, okay, blah, 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 great Time Lord, Doctor played a pro, blah, 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 roll, blah, 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 doomsday weapon that is destroyed on voice sides, leaving him the last Time Lord in the universe, okay. Well, hope. They're saying that I've been hearing that they've been are planning to do about the time war for this 50th anniversary. I'm hoping that it's just not going to be the complete all of it. I'm hoping what I was saying earlier in the previous videos that uh it's not going to be the only thing. And I'm already at 14. And then when the 10th Doctor for 11th, which is 2010 till current, which is 2013. And it will be 2013, so his doctor went three years. So, he's not, he is the, let's see, Tom Baker's the first, then, J then uh, David Tennant, and then the, in the time, or then, J it was four, t ten, f three, um, and then him, Matt Smith, I mean, uh, Doctor Five, which is Peter Davison, and then the first two Doctors are all tied for one, two, three, 
fourth, fourth um, running doctor, which is kind of surprising because it seems like they were going for threes a lot. Anyway, it says uh, regenerate into the 11th. The TARDIS and sound screwdriver regenerate, changing their appearance. Okay, so that's really about it from this thing. Um, let me fix it. I'm going to look up some more stuff because i got to clean my room too. And um, so if anyone has any more information other than what we know about this 50th anniversary so far, for sure, like David Tennant's going to be in it, Billy Piper, who plays Rose, is going to be in it, and probably John Hart's going to be in it, as well as Matt Smith and Clara. That is about it, and that the Doctor will be regenerating, or at least this Doctor will be done with his time this at, after this 50th anniversary. So if you guys have anything else, click like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.